Welcome back to In the Paint. So as a player, you never wanted to go into an off week coming off of a loss because you knew the coaches would take it out on you in practice. So I can only imagine what the last 10 days of practice have been like for West Vigo. The Vikings haven't played a game since they were blown out of the Pizza Hut Classic by Casey Westfield in what was one of the Vikes' worst performances, even under head coach Joe Baylor. How would West Vigo respond tonight? They hosted Riverton Park and well, they came out on fire. Great pass from Hayden Kornfloss to Ty Lonenschlager. That's fun to say. Bikes jump out to an early lead, but Riverton Park would respond. Tanner Edge with a baseline drive to put the Panthers on the board, but 6-8. Austin Sappingfield showing that his showing his versatility. He says, you better guard me because I can knock down the three. Bikes take a three-point lead. Corey Vickers playing it casual, then boom, roasted. Quick change of direction, gets him to the left side of the hoop. West Vigo leads by five. And just a great Cut by Cornfloss, finishes underneath. I know Coach Baylor was happy about this one as West Vigo goes on to beat RP 87-37. And similar, I have a feeling that if we played one-on-one, -on -one, that could what, be the what, score. You're right, with me winning, although I've always been taught to treat <laughs> women with respect. So I wouldn't blow you out by that much. Whatever helps you sleep better at night, man. Whatever helps you. In the WIC, neither South Vermilion nor Northview has won a conference game yet. The Wildcats and Knights had a chance this evening to not only pick up their first WIC win this year, but to also hand Owen Valley and Edgewood their first conference losses of the season. Coach Weddle and his Knights taking on Coach Smith and the Patriots. Northview's Quentin Hayes. He's just kind of chilling around the three-point line. Then all of a sudden, boom, pops it from the left wing, knocks down the three. We'll take it to the second half. Hayes with a shot fake, dishes it off to Kalen Shane for the three. I'm not going to rain those knights. But Owen Valley would respond. They go inside this time to Matthew Campbell, who uses his size as an advantage and finishes underneath and one for the senior and look at this pass to Campbell again. Great finish on the left side, but the Patriots fell asleep in transition and let Northview's Drew nice. Lumsden oh. pass for the dunk. Yes, I've been waiting for you to dunk, Drew. Thank you for doing that tonight. And Northview goes on to beat Owen Valley 60 to 40. Eight. Well, South Vermilion visited Edgewood. Well, Cole Craddock throwing out t-shirts, kind of like this next play. Transition, Cole Craddock finds Austin Ratnards for the three. Edgewood jumps out to a 7-0 lead with six minutes left in the first quarter. Ryan Newman inbounds the ball to Raynard for Edgewood. They kind of go back and forth for a bit before Raynard decides to pop it from three. 13-0 Edgewood. South Vermilion in transition. Jordan Brands finds Cole Morgan for the first Wildcat basket of the night. Mustangs lead 13-2 with less than four left in the first. A little bit later, Brands decides to keep it himself and gets the contested basket. But Edgewood would go on to win this one 63-42. After opening the season with six straight wins, Bar Reeve has gone three and two in the last five games. For most teams, you might ask, what is going on? But in Montgomery, there's no panic. Everyone knows the Vikings are good, and when it matters, come March, this team will be tough to beat. The Class A fourth-ranked Vikings on the road at Forest Park. Addison Wagler finds a cutting Chris Whitmer for the hoop and harm Vikes up two. Next, Seth Swartzen, Trooper, love to say that name, corrals it, finds Duck and Roy for the easy deuce. Then it's Swartzen, Trooper, I love to say that name. That's a great name. From downtown, bang, Bar Reeve is rolling. Later off the steal, it's Logan James, one of the best point guards in the area, laying it in, and this caps a 9-0 run, Bar Reeve. Well, they get back in the win column like we expect them to. They win again, 48-30 at Forest Park. Nord Davies was looking to knock off Ligoti for the third year in a row in the regular season. Great move and finish at the cup by Darian Stewart. Ligoti led early. Jalen Loniger does a great job dribbling middle, then changing his momentum into his jumper. Knocks down two. He had 18. Landon Bell hits the little floater from the block as Ligoti takes a one-point lead. Check out Zach Moore's hustle here. Battling for the boards as Loniger sneaks in and gets the layup. He's a player you're going to want to watch in the future. He is really, really good. Just a sophomore, too. North Davies goes on to beat Lagodi 49-44. The Cougars snap an eight-game losing streak. Now, still to come, we have action from Washington, Cloverdale, Rockville, and Casey. 
And don't worry, Donovan Sims, we have not forgotten about you. Don't you worry. And of course, we still have the action from the Alice's game tonight against Jasper. That's next on In the Paint.